Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. Joining me today is Nak Mishala from HPE. Nakam, thanks for joining the Hot Seat. Hey, glad to be here. Good. You know, as we know in the Hot Seat, you know, we like to get right to the point. Now, you were part of, you were co-founder of a company that uh, HPE recently acquired. I mean, before we get started into the discussion there, could you tell us a little bit about the motivation behind that and, and what drove that for HPE for your company? Sure, sure. Um, so a couple of things drove that uh, acquisition, uh, and both of them have to do with uh, the very good strategic fit between uh, HPE's uh, direction mm -hmm. and uh, context stream. Uh, so the first is, um, at the time, HP, before the split, yeah. uh, had already stated their uh, in, uh, direction uh, with regard to SDN controllers yeah. to evolve to the um, open daylight, open daylight right. um, and uh, at Context Stream we already had a market leading SDN um, fabric based fabric. on OB ODL, ODL right. uh, but with extensions that made it uh, carrier class yeah. like high availability, right. And uh, scaling federation and so on. Right. So this really fit very well in um, HP's stated direction regarding SDN. Yeah. Uh, the other is that um, you know uh, HP's approach, mm -hmm. overall approach to transitioning carriers to uh, the telco cloud. Yeah, the telco cloud. Uh, yeah includes three components. Right. Uh, the first is the programmable infrastructure mm -hmm. for agility. Right. The second is the automated operations for right. efficiency. And the third is um, personalized on-demand uh, services. Services, right. right? Yeah. So, um, of course, uh, the SDN fabric based on ODL was an important component mm -hmm. of the programmable infrastructure, right. mm -hmm. but also Context Stream's leading uh, per subscriber mm -hmm. service function chaining right. uh, makes it a perfect match for the personalized services on demand. Right. I see. Uh, yeah. So you see uh, that uh, strategic fit yeah. um, made uh, the acquisition uh, um, uh, logical. logical. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, at the time, we had already worked together for um, you know over a year mm -hmm. with multiple customer engagements right. in partnership. So yeah. it was kind of a smooth transition. a smooth transition wasn't yeah. a surprise, right? Yeah, I mean, I could see where you helped fill the gap in their alignment. Now, let, let's talk about let's say if we look at Hewlett Packard, there's been a bifurcation of the company. Now, yeah, I have to get used to saying HPE, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, from that point of view, but. From a customer's point of view, right, how, how should customers and when should they engage to look to partner with HPE as they look to transition their infrastructure? Right, so um, you know, the key word here actually is infrastructure. Infrastructure, right? okay. Yeah. So uh, when, a, um, when a service provider right. is thinking about the transition to the telco cloud, as being an infrastructure-led transition, transition right, okay. then there's a perfect fit with the way that HPE sees things. I see. Yeah. I will add mm -hmm. that we love all service providers. Okay. No matter what they think, <laughs> no matter, we're happy to do business with them. Right. Uh, however, the the real alignment comes right. when they're yeah. when they're thinking about uh, the infrastructure as a central component and an evolution over time right. that requires partnering uh, with um, uh, someone like uh, HPE HP, right. uh, for the various uh, um, components that are right. needed for this transition. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the service provider space, one of the key things that I see is, is use cases, right? I mean, for them to be successful, they have to be able to identify these successful use cases. What would you say from an HPE perspective, your top line use cases that make sense as, as you approach these uh, carriers there? Sure, so uh, first of all, uh, in our um, uh, way of thinking, right. uh, the, important, um, uh, the important consideration when looking at use cases is to understand that 
um, you need the infrastructure to support multiple use cases. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I you know I, I stress that because yeah. uh, you don't want to mm -hmm. start thinking only on a use case by use case, case basis. Case. Okay. Yeah. Um, but assuming that you are looking at use cases right. based on a common infrastructure, uh, what we see, of course, is um, a lot of um, uh, interest and, and opportunities mm -hmm. around the mobile space. The mobile space uh, okay. uh, you know, we're here at uh, MWC. MWC, yeah. So uh, it's speed uh, dating week. All, I call it speed yeah. dating week. Right? All, yeah. It's all around us. All around us. Yeah. So um, in the mobile space. Uh, there's uh, the whole area of preparing the core network mm -hmm. uh, for where mobile networks are going. So with an eye towards 5G, 5G. what do you do in your EPC, in your evolved packet core, uh, even before 5G, to make it 5G ready? ready. So uh, we see um, use cases like uh, uh, split gateway EPC yeah. leveraging SDN uh, as one type of use case mm -hmm. that's, uh, uh, that uh, has a lot of has interest. Lot of interest right. um, and uh, in the mobile core, just uh, the simple virtualization of the EPC components, right. uh, including the trend to Volte mm -hmm. driving uh, virtualization of the, uh, of the voice, oh, the voice uh, yeah. components. Uh, IMS and so on, um, and then um, in the uh, fixed line space, mm -hmm. then uh, I guess probably one of the hottest areas mm -hmm. where you get immediate benefit is the whole uh, virtual CPE. Yes, managed services. Uh, yeah. And uh, right, once you start yeah. virtualizing the CPE, moving the functions to the uh, to the telco cloud right. and making them available on demand right. uh, and then uh, sometimes along with that also driving uh, SDN VPN right. uh, yeah. solutions to leverage uh, that uh, even yeah. further um, those are uh, some, some of the top, the one, yeah. top ones yeah. um, and uh, but there are many many more yeah. again our thinking is, yeah. uh, if you get the infrastructure right, then you're ready right. to deal with mm -hmm. all the different network functions, existing, virtualized, Virtual. um, uh, and uh, uh, as you know, we have the Open NFV right. partnership program right. uh, to make sure that there is a thriving ecosystem, ecosystem right. for all the different use cases. Yeah, the, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, in that managed service one, it's really a hot area. Thank <laughs> you.